Hi everyone, welcome to Prefusion. So a lot of students uh, openly struggle with this particular issue that sir, we want to study but we don't know where our most of the time got wasted. So for, to help them, I have brought this uh, gate study hours tracker. So what is this sir, study hour tracker? So what you need to do like uh, whenever you click on this link, you, this particular web page will be opened. So you can see this is your day one. So what you can do just as you start your day, you can set up a particular goal that's a uh, so today I will study six hours per day. So based on your day, like let's just say today I am I, I am having some classes or I need to go to some place. So based on your day, you would know that what you need to do in this particular day. Based on that, you can set up a realistic target. Let's just say I have set up the target of six hours. Now just as I started studying, what I will do? Either I can open it my either I can open it in my PC or I can open it in my mobile. So just as I have started studying, now I have started studying. So I will click on this button. Now my timer would start. Okay. So the timer would start. So it would keep on counting up how much hours you are studying. Okay. So now I am studying, studying, studying. And let's just say now I am done studying. So what I can do, I can click on this pause. I am taking some break. So I, will, I am clicking on this pause. Now in this day only, in this day one only, now again I started studying. So again I can click on this play button. Is that clear to you? Okay, then again, I paused in between, I took some break, then again, I can click on this pause. Now, let's just say I was actually studying, but I forgot to click on this button. So, what I can do, I can manually add as well. Let's just say I studied for 30 minutes, but I forgot to click on this button. What is 30 minutes? 30 minutes is 0 0.5 hours. So, I will just click on this 0 0.5. I will just put 0 0.5 here and it will add up 30 minutes already here. So, 22 seconds I studied before. 30 minutes also I studied, but I forgot to add it here. So I can manually add it here. Is that clear to you? Now this was my day one. Now I can add another day as well. So this would be my day two. Okay. In day two, I am setting up a target of two hours. Okay. I am setting up a target of two hours. I started studying. Okay. It is going on. It is going on. It is going on. Just as I feel like that, I need to take a break. I can pause it. Then I again want to start uh, again. I want to start studying so I can again click on this. Then it will go on. It will go on just as I feel like that. I want to take a break. I can pause it pause on it. And if I forgot putting up, then I can put up from here. Right. If I want to delete this day, what I can do, I can simply click on this delete button. So this day will be deleted. What this button would do, this button would set up like it will reset the complete time. Basically, if I click on this one, so here the complete day has been reset. That means 0, 0, 0, 0. So if you have mistakenly add up some time and if you want to erase that time, then this is how you can erase it. And let's just say I studied for two hours, but I forgot putting up two hours. So manually I can put these two hours. So this will show that you have studied for two hours and you have completed today's task. And let's just say yesterday also I completed my task, but yesterday I studied for four hours, 30 minutes. So this is how I can put 30 minutes are already there. Four hours I have put. So four hours, 30 minutes I have put. My task was of 6 hours, but I studied for 4 hours, 30 minutes. My task was for 2 hours. I have studied for 2 hours. Or you can study more as well. It's not that 2 hours is necessary. You can study more as well, right? This will still work. 2 hour, 1 second, 2 second, 3 second. You are studying more than 2 hours. So that also you can do, okay? And uh, downward, like there would be a graph. Like this is your day 1. In day 1, I have set up a target of 6 hours. I have studied for 4.5 hours. This is your day 2. You have set up a target of two hours and you have studied nearly two hours only. In that manner, you can keep on adding up the days. Okay. You can keep on adding up these days and the graph would keep on going. Like in that manner, you would be able to see your graph. So this was the target you were setting up and this is how you are currently studying. So you would be able to see the graph that how much consistent you are and how much you are actually studying. And here total hours are being added up. So you have studied four hours, 30 minutes and two hours, seven seconds. So this is the total time that you have studied. Six hours, 30 minutes and 30 seconds. So in your whole preparation, how much time you are actually studying, that also will be reflected here. Okay. So if you feel like that, sir, my complete time is getting wasted. I am not even sure how much I am studying, sir, where my time is going. So this tracker will help you a lot. Previously, have, we have launched our syllabus tracker. We have launched our test series tracker as well. And this is our gate study hours tracker now. Okay. So this tracker will help you a lot to get, to get into the consistency. Like here, every day you will be noting down that how much time you are actually studying. So this will help you getting into the consistency. Okay. Now, ideally for gate 126 aspirants, gate 126 aspirants, how many days are left? 
effectively 100 days are left okay four months are left but effectively 100 days you are having in those 100 days everyone should be studying 800 hours okay effectively 100 days are there every day you should be denoting 800 hours for gate 2026 guys i am saying it fine that means per day eight hours i need to study this much study is expected from your side from now onwards for gate examination because examination is never near and i now i need to pace up my studies and also i should have the habit of studying for three hours straight like people would be saying sir, sir i cannot concentrate for more than one hour or two hour then how you would be able to concentrate in the examination hall the exam will be of three hours no if you are saying that sir i cannot sit for three hours then how will you sit for three hours in the examination so build up your concentration of three hours okay Sh drop watching these youtube shorts or instagram reels because these will be of hardly 30 second 40 second and you will feel like that sir i need something in 30 second or 40 second only but life doesn't go like that preparation doesn't go like that examination doesn't go like that examination is a marathon it is a marathon so three hours you need to sit you need to have patience and in these three hours you need to give your level best so try managing three slots per day three hours slot three hours slot and two hours slot so three slots should be there total eight hours at least eight hours you should be studying as of now okay and now talking about like those who are preparing for 2027 so ideally how much time one should be studying what i am saying ideally like if someone is preparing for gate examination if your target is gate so ideally how much you should be studying so specifically talking about ec electrical and instrumentation student the number is 2375 gate examination required this much hours of effort i know more about ec electrical and instrumentation right because this is the branch i teach in and this is the branch that i have studied for so same would go for csc as well mostly same would go for csc i am not sure about mechanical or civil but csc electrical ec and instrumentation they would require this much hours of effort if you want to prepare strictly okay in a good manner that sir right from the zero i need to start it's now that sir i will drop this subject that subject sir can i do it from crash course or what is the best strategy that strategy nothing sir i want to prepare for my examination i am completely dedicated enough for the examination this is how you should be studying this much time you should be denoting to your gate preparation now it's not that sir i need to complete this much of hours no blindly don't go for this but an average student if he is putting this much of hours of effort then he would be surely able to do well for under AIR 100 in his bad day okay in his bad day I am saying that he would be able to get under AIR 100 in his good day he can do any wonder but bad day he would be able to get AIR 100 if he is able to put this kind of effort and hardly 70 people are able to put this kind of effort hardly 70 people or let's take the best case hardly 80 people are able to put this kind of effort but sir under AIR 100 so there what about those rest of 20 students so they are very brilliant they are having very high IQ okay they are having that kind of IQ that if you are studying for 2375 they will study for 1000 hours only and they will be able to do similar to what you have done in this much time so they are 20 people they are not even watching this video you are watching this video you fall in this category you want AIR 100 in a strict manner in a good manner you have to follow this one there is no shortcut just being straightforward here in 100 days sir i am starting now from now onwards can i will i be able to get a, a better rank in 100 days no one can comment on it okay it depends on you what is your iq level but this doesn't guarantee the success right basically what i mean to say is that if you are getting under 100 then surely you are going to get into some good college but AIR 100 is not everything, no. Even if you are having 1000 ranks, still you can do very well in your career. Even if you are having 2000 ranks, still you can do very well in your career. There are other opportunities after the gate examination as well, no. You can get into some masters, you can get into MS and you can perform well in the industry, right. Or you can give bid set paper. If you are financially, if you are financially well enough, then you can go for bid set examination and then you can do very well. 
right so a lot of things are there it's not that air under 100 is only the primary thing so whenever i make 200 days roadmap or whenever i make 150 days roadmap there i directly say that under 100 now is not possible you are watching this video you are watching roadmap for 150 days you are starting right from the zero don't even think that you will be getting air under 100 sir there was one senior in my college he prepared only for 70 days and he ended up getting AIR 75. Bro, his concepts were already very good. Okay, the senior who prepared in 70 days, he ended up getting AIR 75. His concepts were already very, very good. He used to study, but he never told you. Okay, he was good with his academics, but he never told you that. He was having a very good IQ level as well. That's why he was able to do it. Taking one or two examples, you can never, ever, you can never even consider that. Uh, if this guy could do it, so I will also be able to do it. If this guy could do it, you can also do it. But if he is putting an effort of 70 days, I will put the complete effort of 250 days if I am having this much of time left. You are having 100 days left for gate 196. If you are if you are watching being a gate 196 aspirant, then you need to study. Whatever the time you are having, utilize that time, give your level best. Whatever that happens, that would happen. Okay. After the gate examination, we will see there are a lot of opportunities. I will make you prepare for the interview. The best possible interview we will give and in something good we will get. And after that, we will put two hours of effort in our masters and we will do something pretty good. This should be the target for the 2026 guys. If you are preparing for 2027, this is the thing that I am telling. That you need to put this much of effort. Now, it's you who can decide whether you want to fall in that 200 days roadmap, 150 days roadmap, 100 days roadmap or you want to fall in a category that where you don't need to watch a single roadmap. You will be just studying and you will be performing well. Okay. Otherwise, you will fall in the same category that, sir, how to get marks uh, in test series, sir. What is the strategy of uh, getting higher marks in the test series? There is no particular strategy to get higher marks. Okay. The only st strategy to get higher marks in the test series is that you need to study. Study well, make your concepts fine, perform in the examination. That's it. This is the path, nothing else. No strategy. No guidance will get you higher marks in the examination or in the test series. You need to study. That's the bottom line. And the same thing I am telling here. Ideally, this much time you should be denoting and you would be able to do well in your gate examination for sure. Not sure about your career. Career depends how well do you spend your time in your masters or in PSU or wherever you are going. But talking about specifically talking about one competitive examination, this much hours of effort is more than enough. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's why I launched this uh, preparation tracker or study hours tracker so that you would be able to know that how much you are actually studying and till what point or how near you are to do well in your career. Okay. Yeah, with that, I would like to end the video. Thank you very much. Happy learning.